It's always open. I think I'm gonna take that from Fuller House. Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. <gasps> We're having friends over to swim today because I haven't got to see them in a week and I won't get to see them again for probably another week. It's the Crocker Boys. What's up, kids? Oh my gosh, Ezra, you look so huge. Hi guys. Hey, hey Kayvin. Hi, 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 Hey, girl, hey. This is my very random plate of food. Let's play first. Let's play. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. I promised Juliet that I would let her swim without a floaty before everybody got here. Don't forget big arms like Miss Joy taught you, okay? Yeah, but that's not as safe. If you're gonna do it while friends are here, you have to do your big arms. You gotta practice them, okay? You do one and then two. There you go. Yeah, that's good. Hey, Courtney. Courtney has become quite the baker. I can't wait to I brought show donuts. You she made these with, I, oh my gosh, Courtney, stop it. I think I smell bad. Oh, I didn't smell you. I feel like I need deodorant. Let me go and get some. Sometimes we all forget to put deodorant on and then we remember it when we hug our friends. Like, oh yeah, let me go grab it. However, for the record, I do not stink. I just smelled. But I just get this, I have this like weird thing. Like even Sam will know, I'm, I'm randomly will be like, oh, I need to go put deodorant on. I just, I think I have had it before around people and I'm like, it's a paranoia now. But I did forget to put some on this morning and we're gonna be outside sweating, so I need some. This is almost done and I cannot wait to switch it for my Young Living all natural deodorant because I'm so sick of putting poison in my armpits, but I haven't switched it yet because I had like a Costco pack of that. I mean, I've used it this long. I might as well finish it out before changing it. You know what I'm saying? What's up, Casey? How are you doing, girl? Oh, you know, fabulous. Oh, yeah. Katie, Maverick. Hi, guys. Courtney, I'm so very impressed. Which one should I grab? Like, are these, like, flavored? No. Just colored? Yeah, they're just colored. Uh, <laughs> these are Trolls little chocolate chip icings. Oh, my. And those are rainbows. This is so cute. <laughs> wow. I don't know how. She perfected this over quarantine. <laughs> There were Seriously. many Marco Polos. <laughs> yeah. There were a couple fails, I think. But now yes. they're perfect. <laughs> I got this in the mail yesterday. Oh, fun. And I figured if anybody could help me get it out, it would be you. Sure, I'll do it. <laughs> I guess I didn't need Lauren after all. What's up, fan basic? How you guys doing today? Welcome to Hoja Town. It's Hoja time. So I've got some uh, mistakes to correct today. As I told you guys yesterday, this koi pond that Nina and I worked on, we put the tarp in there and it's not holding water like it should. So I'm gonna leave that tarp there. I'm gonna put some sand. I got some play sand today. Put that on top of it to pad it before I put official pond liners down. Make it not waterproof, but leak proof, I guess. Makes it a little softer. Gotta get rid of this stuff. Where's Nia when you need her? This is not a one man job, and I am sore as could be, man. Trimming these trees yesterday. I climbed up four different times yesterday with my rope into the tree and getting myself up there. Oh, not only that, I fell off a ladder. I was at the top of that extension ladder. I wasn't fully extended, but I was on there. And I was starting to fall, so I was going to jump off. When I jumped off, my shoelace got caught on it. And it brought the whole ladder, my chainsaw, while I was on. All of us went down together. I landed right on my back. Didn't knock the wind out of me, though. But, man, I was sore. When you don't know where to begin, you just begin. You just start doing something. Acting is half the battle. Making the decision to act. Right? That's the hardest part. Guys, I've done so many things here at the cabin multiple times. It's one of the biggest uh, takeaways from doing this cabin is mistakes come with the territory of life in general, especially with building. Mistakes happen, even with the professionals that come in here. Just mistakes. It's all a part of it. The most important thing is how you approach those mistakes. Another mistake I made with the first time around on this thing was filling it up with water after I put the rocks on. I think doing that can cause like some undue stress on the tarp and cause stretches and tears. So I'm gonna start filling it up with water before I put the rocks on. That seems kind of obvious. We're gonna end up burying these guys. I don't have any water source right now. I'm gonna have to bring it to the, all the way to the back of the cabin. 
Just use the faucet to keep the water full in there. All right, guys, pool party play date was a success. It was so much fun, and now I'm headed to run one of the most exciting errands of my adult life. All right, guys, I'm in this beautiful neighborhood, a couple towns over, and I'm picking up something really exciting. Are you guys ready to see? Here they are. This is what I'm getting. This is a baby fiddle leaf fig tree. And so my hope is to keep it alive and grow it. It seems like she's already watered it. It just needs to be in the shade, I guess. This leaf doesn't look too good already. And then all these mint plants, I'm taking these too. So I'm excited about that. These are all my plants right here. Guys, gotta get your daily dose of Jessica. I had to deliver a package to Nana, so I stole hey, Jessica before a Starbucks trip. Yep, just a quick Starbucks trip before her next round of family comes to see her. She's a busy, popular girl. My, yeah, Michael and his family just left, That's and then true. we came over. But there's more family coming over, so we weren't staying. And so I was like, let's just go get Starbucks real quick. So here we are. All right, guys, I'm ready to see what this other pump looks like. How well it pumps. It's coming out of this one pretty full and I've been collecting rocks all over the property pretty nice having this because there's been so many rocks out here that like what do I do with all these rocks so I just throw them out in the woods but now if I see any piles of rocks or anywhere I can just throw them here and just add to the beauty of it I may end up getting a well pump out there eventually we have access to a well and then use that water for this and any other watering I need to do out here you guys ready nice that is so much better look how cool that is it's beautiful. Hit that other rock perfectly. Look at that. Back to what I was talking about earlier about making mistakes. The benefit of making mistakes is when you come back and redo them, generally do not just that mistake better, but everything in that process better. I've put way more rocks in here. It looks so much better better than it did. I have a better layout of how the water looked before, so I knew how the kind of the rock should look like. I feel like I do that every time I make a mistake. I come back and not only do that mistake better than I would have originally done it had I done it right, but I also do other things along that process better. Anyway guys, I found something. I'll pick up rocks in the yard. It's pretty momentous. It's fitting for the occasion. I just finished the last big job of the cabin. I literally have no big jobs on my mind. I did come up with say that maybe I could change one side of that shed over there to a game room. Put the foosball table, a, a ping pong table, and a pool table, some darts and stuff. Of course, I probably wouldn't be doing that. Probably have Corey's team do it. Anyway, that was the last big job. And while I was working on that last big job, I found this guy with a shovel. That's what I was working with today. That's crazy. This means a lot because when I first bought the place, it was covered in these and I literally just threw them all away and I regret doing that. This one's broken, but he had them all over the place. He had a huge collection and they were filthy and, you know, cracked and stuff. It's just fitting that I found this. I'm going to keep it, bring it home and let it be a reminder of all the work and effort I put into this place. A gnome with a shovel. Thank you.